What's up guys, Corbin Snake 5 here and welcome to episode 35 of my European of Asalis 4 playthrough as Brandenburg. Last episode of the week and on the last episode, episode 34, we basically went insane and decided to declare a lot of wars, take a lot of land that if we look at our aggressive expansion with our former ally Bohemia who we just unallied like two episodes ago, we already have 77 aggressive expansion. We have over 100 with a lot of people. And the reason for this is we should be able to form Prussia as soon as we get out of war. If I have a look from Kingdom of Prussia, we just need to be at peace. And I believe leaving, I believe forming this kicks me out of the empire. Change to Prussia, gain one base tax. It may not, but I'm I could swear that it I've seen it happen before. Oh, form German nation kicks me out of the empire. Right, so forming Germany does. I thought forming Prussia did, that's why I went crazy. Okay, and there's the coalition. Mines and Bohemia. Were some, were some. Um, Bohemia, we want not to join. Please, please live. I like you. Why you got to not like me? Augsburg, Württemberg, Ulm, Memengen. So actually, you all camp on the border with Bohemia, please. Switzerland, Austria. Austria is a huge one. Austria is a big threat there. And that is why I'm going to do... Come on, you would have. You will, actually, if I get out of war. Muscovy joined the Protestant League. So I guess what I do... I could join the Protestant League and then everyone would defend me. Or everything, everyone on the Protestant League would defend me. Okay... So once we call these, I will be able to take more land. I want to, once we get enough power, I want to get a claim on the Netherlands so we can just wipe them off the face of the earth because I hate these Netherlands events. I don't know if they'll go away once the Netherlands ceases to exist, but that's what I'm hoping for. Again, to call on those two. So we will take Hessen. Give me that. I don't want any of these. Well, I do want Munich, but I can't take it. That's the only problem. So I will... Could get the Emperor as my vassal. No. Who would become the Emperor in that case? Between Castile, Savoy and Lorraine. Right, so no, I won't do that. But this Hess war, I just want Hessen. That's all, really. Maybe do this. Get me some prestige. We'll do a lot. I will call that. I will also raise the autonomy here. I can't be bothered to deal with rebellions when I'm definitely going to be in a coalition. Yes, I know my, what was my actual monthly balance. I want to know whether I can afford, afford a level 2 advisor or not. Lorraine entered into a coalition. I think basically everyone's going to enter into a coalition against me. Like if we look. France can't, England can't, which is a do which is just perfect actually. Savoy can't, they're a big threat, so that's good. Commonwealth can't, Sweden or Ally has 34. Right, so it's basically just the people who've already entered into it who can. Apart from Bavaria, but they have a truce. So they're not someone I need to worry about. 18. So yes, I can get a level 2. So let's get a level 2 discipline guy. No, I, I can't afford a level 3. So I'll just get a level 1, I guess. Of 
course, we'll be military. But I can't afford. But, oh, I can't get the level two I want. Now, Commonwealth, would you join me in an alliance? Yes, you will. No, you won't anymore. You would have be. No, you will. If you're on it, minus eighty. Yeah. So you will, as long as I end war. Without upsetting you too much by ending the war. Because this war, I want everything in it. Ideally. Well, apart from Aachen. I want those two. Which would give us 59% overextension, which I believe would take us over 100. Well, I can peace out Aachen at this point. Because I don't want their territory yet. So we'll just take war reps and all of their money. We'll do that. Netherlands, in one month we will be able to get claim. We have re-siege Konigsberg. Let me just check the unrest. Zero percent, good. We go to Neumark. Excellent diplomacy, we can get some prestige, take us up to 90. And I think there will be a second where I won't be at war before I redeclare on the Netherlands. I think is the plan. But in order to do that, I need to piece out both of these guys. It wouldn't be enough for overextension, so I could do it. It would force all of these into a coalition against me. The majority of them already are. It would let Great Britain join, which I don't want France join. I don't want that either. Denmark. Saxony, who are my ally. Yeah, I don't want them to join. The Netherlands, which I don't want. Okay, so we're going to have to declare the Netherlands war first. So give me Utrecht. I think we're going to have to end the Netherlands war. Before the other one as well. Um, give this army a siege general. Just give them the weakest army, or the weakest general. Send them in. There we go. It's not quite. Siege that down for me, please. Actually, let's get half of our ships just to help out. Come here, please. The rest of you. Not that 20. Yeah, that's 6. The 60 stack group of protect trade and Lubeck. Thank you. Do they have full defensive or is that mild winter? They have full defensive. Does Group Run have full defensive? No, they have quality, expansion, and exploration. Are really not going up in military, it doesn't seem. I suppose I can piece out Bremen individually. I do want to do Netherlands first. Are they part of the Empire? They are a member of the Empire, it looks like. Breda. send you to there and then we will detach a siege send them to there that's good aggressive expansion down and there's the rebels die rebels send the 10 stack back off send you to holland group these together if we can actually click on the province I actually lost 200 cannons there. I love how off we are. We have 750 Diplo and then 100 of the other two. They're going to 
stand for quite a while. All these people. Hamburgsburg. How much do they have? 95. Trying to look for someone who can easily be kicked out. Salzburg looks like they can. 66. That's not too bad. Everyone else kind of is guaranteed to be in. Okay, we've got call for peace, so we need to do something. How much war exhaustion do we have? We have zero. Even with call for peace, once call for peace takes over into giving us war exhaustion is when we will peace out. So it's increasing by 0.018 month. So I want to piece these guys out first. Guys in the Netherlands. Give me Utrecht. We wouldn't allow Great Britain to join. It's crucial. I'm pretty sure. Baroque Corn Calais. That should make Great Britain like me. It won't, but it should. I force them to give up their core in your province. Okay, can you please call? I don't have enough admin power. Um, boost the autonomy? There's no unrest here. France just coalitioned us. France isn't as strong as they would be normally. Savoy. You are at 40 aggressive expansion. I may just have to not take these. I think I'm gonna just not take them. I can get them later on. They don't, they're not required for Germany. So we'll just, we'll do it separately. Just to get the maximum amount. So we will take war reps, pop trade power. All of your money. And we will stop you being allied with people. Those two are the main ones. And then you will, will peace out. Give me all of your money. War reps, trade power. Cancel any alliances. There we go. Okay, so it didn't take any land there. That gets us a unlawful territory demand on Utrecht. I was wondering why I didn't have any unrest. It's because they hadn't done that. Okay, I can form Prussia now. I don't want to be kicked out of the Empire and I don't know if that does. So, I'm going to wait until the end of the episode and then I will do it at the start of next episode and if it kicks me out I will restart because I don't know if it does um so I'm in a risk of becoming in a personal union between Sweden and Savoy can I not be in a risk of becoming in a personal union how old's my guy 27 he shouldn't die soon can I get more chance of having baby no okay so do I want these idea cost manpower recovery? That's been very helpful. I've basically not lost my manpower at all. This one. Parish Red just does extra 10% 10, 10 manpower recovery speed. So that, that basically means you reach max manpower in nine years. Rather than the 10 you would normally take. So at 99 prestige. So I don't know if this is that necessary anymore. We could probably do better if we had the legitimacy one. So we'll swap the prestige one out for the legitimacy. Right. So Great Britain. Okay. We're actually pretty strong. We've got all of Northern Germany at this point, apart from Saxony, who is our ally. I wonder, could 
Probably not because they're major already, but could we vassalize them? No, because they're an elector. So it's minus a thousand. We can actually call this now. And let's just hope that personal union thing goes away. It did. Did we get an air? No, it just went away. For no real reason, as I was speaking. So if I joined this, who's on the other side? The Commonwealth, Great Britain, Ottomans, Austria, Portugal. Who's on this side? Sweden, Bohemia, who is actually strong now. Um, France, who's okay. Muscovy, Castile. So Castile would kill Portugal. Muscovy would kill the Commonwealth. Great Britain, I could probably take care of. Ottomans would just destroy everyone, I think. They'd, they'd have quite a hard time getting over here. We just don't have any good military commanders, is our problem. I'd like to hold off the League War as long as possible. Like, until we have completed our quality ideas. So we can get the extra 20% um, combat ability, infantry combat ability. Portugal just lost to Songhai. How did you manage that, Portugal? Okay, so hopefully the Netherlands is gone at this point. It looks like all the cause and claims went away, so it, I think killing them did help. Prusland actually still has Netherlands core, but I think only that and Utrecht will be able to have that event now. Because they're the only two with the Netherlands cause. Cleves likes us a little bit. I'm always a fan of making people like me. Even if it was like the weakest country in the world. I suppose that would be Bremen, because they have no army, and eight that and nine thousand men sieging their only holding. Yeah, they need nine K as well. So because of the attrition they're suffering, because they're fully defensive they can't siege. And rebels don't replenish. That's why you always stack white rebels if you beat them in battle, because they don't replenish. Konigsberg would basically be the first attack point for any war against the Commonwealth. You are 91 aggressive expansion. I understand. So I'm just going to sit here and not do much until that coalition goes away. Which is going to take some time. I mean, France should leave if we improve relations with them and get them in the positives. How much... We actually don't have any improved relations with them, so France should be easy to kick out. Everyone else is another story. I think the Protestant League War, or the League War is going to fire pretty soon. And I'm not going to be a part of it, which means I can take advantage of it. Because if everyone's distracted, then I can gobble up the remains. Okay, so we've got too much Diplo power. I could take that, but it's cost 845, or 850 rather than like 550. So I'm not wasting 300 points, so we'll actually just spend some on mercantilism. There we go. And. I think I'm going to wrap up the game here. I'm going to come back in a second after I've saved just to check if Prussia kicks me out of the Empire. Okay guys, I have saved and now we're going to check if Prussia will kick me out of the Empire if I form it. So I've formed the Kingdom of Prussia. We're no longer Brandenburg. Am I still in the Empire? Yes, I am. Okay. 
Wait, I'm an elector, am I a prince? Yes, I am. Okay. Let me just fast forward a little bit. Do I get kicked out? No. Okay, so that's going to be how we wrap up this week, guys. Forming the Kingdom of Prussia. In this week's episodes, we also managed to take um, Utrecht. We took Hamburg. We took Hessen, Nassau, Frankfurt, Westfalen, Paderborn, Kulm. I believe... Was it this week's episodes that we annexed our vassal as well? We managed to take Konigsberg from Poland. Holstein, I think, was this week. We did quite a lot this week. And we also managed to form a coalition against ourselves. Quite a large coalition. Hopefully shrink it down in next week's episodes. And the League War will probably fire next week's episodes. So if you're looking forward to all of that and you've enjoyed this week's episodes, make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe to stay up to date with everything. And from me, Corvus 5 thank you guys so much for watching all my videos and goodbye.